G'day guys, Danny here again. Today I've made my way out to Performance Exhaust here at Knoxfield to see Dave and the team to see how my 80's going. Dave's had the car for about a week or so. He's been fixing up some exhaust issues for me. Let's go see how he's going. Hey Danny, how you going? Yeah, good thanks Dave. How are you mate? Yeah, good, good. How's the, uh, how's the 80's? Are you all ready to go? Yeah, it sounds awesome. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I knew there was a few problems with it uh, when I dropped it off before to you. Let us know what happened. Yeah, we'll go around the front and we'll start there. Well, Danny, as you know, you were saying that you had a bad leak of extractors up here when you came in. Yeah. And yeah, definitely the bolts had come loose. They were leaking badly and blown. You would have had a significant loss of power and torque from the engine. Now that we've resealed it with new bolts, it's right to go again. And it probably just needs a little bit of maintenance, tighten them up after a little while and make sure they're right. And then they're right to go for another five years or so. So the extractors are still good, just new bolts and new manifold gasket and away we go. Yeah, that's right. Because you spent the extra time and you got them HPC coated, so the ceramic coating, that gave a lot more life to the extractor. So that was well worth the effort and time to do that. All right, so extractors are done, no more leaking. What else? Well, we'll go through the whole system, we'll lift it up in the air and we'll talk about it piece by piece. All right, we'll have a look, Danny, and we'll show you what we've done. Right here, we've modified your side step rail here to give it more clearance, so we'll put a bit of a U-shape in it. And as you see before, it was all flat, similar to this one. Yep. And we've done that so we can get better clearance of the exhaust to come through without you know, having to dag down and cause a problem and get crushed. Okay, good. We're also now putting in high flow 100 cell cats, so you can keep your compliance with your LS2 V8 in there, and that'll keep the authorities happy. And these are the highest flow cats on the market, so you won't have any problems with them. Awesome. And then we've made mandrel system, crossing back over the chassis in the usual fashion, and then coming into two pipes into one, into a three inch exhaust. So as you can see, Danny, we've got the flange plates here with gaskets and bolts. And then we've made some heavy duty bracing around the cat assembly yep. with genuine Toyota mounts. So if you have any issues off road or anywhere around Australia, you can buy the mounts. Straight forward anywhere. for parts, yep. And then we've put another flange just here and made that section unboldable so you can remove it if you want to do any maintenance or replace that section. Awesome. Because we've mirrored it, we've had to make custom mounts off your side rails here. So we've made the plates, put the Toyota mounts in, and we've made a big brace to your exhaust system. It's all braced up, secure, on really good mounts, and should handle all the off-roading you're going to be doing. So nice and neat, and all tucked out of the way. Yeah, that's right. And brought the pipe over the chassis with a two-into-one design here to bring it into the three-inch exhaust. On one of these engines, the three inches, the, the, the highest flow exhaust you can get. So once we got to this position, this is where the 80 series normally has their muffler assembly. This is a Redback Extreme, heavy duty, three inch, straight through muffler assembly. This will give you that awesome V8 LS2 sound. Fantastic. And that way you can buy a replacement muffler or tailpipe anywhere you want, because this is where it becomes the 80 series pieces. This front section is the LS2 V8. Yep, so from here, pretty much factory and I can replace it. That's right. So factory, but modified. Yes, high, performance. Performance. high performance factory, yeah. Yeah, with a three inch system. So Danny, tell us why you brought it in for the maintenance <laughs> issues. I, I think I've got a fair idea. Yeah, you know, when I dropped it off and I picked up the back piece that it had totally snapped off and the bracket had broken off and I was able to take that whole tail section out. You, you did a good job of it, you know. I, I think it was about time it needed a bit of sorting out. That alerted me uh, that, uh, yeah, you should look after the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problems at all. Well, it's all sorted out now. And, and I think your main issue was this bracket up here, it bent backwards, that allowed the pipe to hit the chassis and snap off. So as you see with the tar pipe Danny up top here, it's built and designed to clear everything on the vehicle. The reason we put in a Redback Extreme is it's extremely well built and designed by engineers. So that means the consistency of the product is the same every single time. So it clears all the modifications, it has a slip joint up the top so you can slip it together and get it into the car easy. Yep. So it's made for DIY at home. Comes in a beautiful box. So if you like working on your car yourself, which most four drive guys do, you can do all the modifications, no problems at all. You can just see how neat and close it all tucks in. It's well and truly out of the road. It's a great setup. Now that, that's why you need to buy a branded item. The branded items are consistently built well every single time. Big warranties, factory backing Australia wide, and that's the beauty of having a branded item. Yep. So we're finally down to the back section, the tar pot. And this is made to ensure that you have plenty of tyre clearance to your road going tyre. Also, if you had a spare tyre fitted under here, it clears there. Yep. 
Also it has these large braced bracketed mounts here. So they're wrapped right around the pipe so they don't snap off. They're real sturdy, yeah. And then they turn the tip down. So you, uh, when you're backing up a hill in the off-road, you don't fill it full of dirt. So it's got the nice turn down at the end. Yep. It works really well. And all modular, great. I've seen it all now. Now I want to hear it. Yeah, awesome. Let's fire it up. All right, Danny, jump in and try it out. So, Danny, what do you reckon? Oh, that sounds awesome. It sounds fantastic and it looks great. Thanks, that, Dave. That's great. Just one more thing. Yes, mate. Can you shut the bottom for me? I can't hear you. <laughs>